Iowa State and Texas Tech. Look at the Wager Talk live odd screen right now. Uh, I'm seeing basically Iowa State minus one total anywhere, 129.5, 130, 130 and a half. Let's call it 130 for the total. What are we going to do with the Cyclones and the Red Raiders? Well, Teddy, college basketball, second meetings. I love to look at these games. Uh, Conference play is when I excel in college basketball. I'll admit I'm not a fan of college basketball in late November and early December. But once we start conference play, that's when I, you know, get excited about college hoops. And here's one of those perfect examples. Uh, You look at this one, John Q. Public, out of the gates, going to look at Iowa State, 15-5 and on the season. Uh, playing Texas Tech, who's 11 and 10, and who just had lost eight in a row prior to Saturday. And the lines basically picked the winner. You said it's minus one uh, for Iowa State. That looks way too easy just to jump on and grab Iowa State. Want to make it even sweeter to grab Iowa State? How about the first meeting? They beat them by 34 points. Now, I always say, you know, Revenge is the most overused term in sports betting, but there's certain spots that I like them. Like yesterday in the football game, you know, you remember who ended your season. Uh, Kansas City lost in the AFC Championship game last year. You also are going to remember when you lose by 34 points in season. And I'm going to go ahead and go with Texas Tech because I like the spot. Iowa State had to travel on Saturday. Iowa State played in that big 12 SEC champion or challenge uh, that they had over the weekend. And they went to Missouri uh, to play. Now they lost that game. They got to turn around one day in between, go back, get into conference play and play a team that they beat by 34 points and they're going on the road. That's easy for them to feel, hey, we just got to show up and we're going to win this game. And put the ribbon on the uh, package here. Look who they play next. They got a big game with Kansas on deck. You want to talk about a look-ahead spot? Then I look at Texas Tech. They finally got that losing streak snapped. And if you look at their last three games, they've played really good defense. Uh, Three back, 42% they allowed. Then they allowed 37 and 37 in back-to-back games. So I like the way they're going. I'm going to look for them to get the win. And then with this one here, uh, let's go ahead and call the home club here. To get the win, I'm taking Texas Tech plus the one, but uh, basically we're looking for them to win out, right? Because one's not not very much there on the point spread. So here's my follow-up question. I mean, doesn't Texas Tech stink? They lost eight in a row. (laughs) They beat the worst team in the SEC. And I've been fading LSU game after game. I couldn't play. I couldn't fade LSU because I didn't trust Texas Tech to win there. And they beat the worst team. You know, and and, and now you're and now they have to beat a good team. They're not playing good ball, are they? How do we trust this team? They're not any good. Well, the two things that I that I did point out, Teddy, I like the way that they've played defense in the last three games. And you're right, this team has sucked all year. Uh, but if you go back to the beginning of the season, things that we look at, this was a team that only returned one starter. And you see teams go through progressions. And I'm looking for this team to be better in the second half as they start to get it. And I think by looking at what they've done defensively the last three games, that maybe they are starting to play better and put it together. And again, it's just the spot. You've already beat this team by 34. You've got Kansas on deck. A bad travel spot from Saturday to Monday on the road, both games on the road. I'm playing the spot here, uh, all of those factors in there. 